have no lives to save now. Yours is forfeit. If you're gonna kill me, just do it, you sentient cancer. Vaccine development program. You hear that, Kara? Or whatever's living in my psychotic brain? Terminated. Maybe, but it still functions after a thousand years. Ah, ah, I felt that twinge of discomfort. You're discouraging me because you know I'm close. <laughs> close. Look around you. Look at what these precursors managed to make. They could not stop the Kara. They are a thousand years gone. Will you do it in one night? A night? That's more time than I thought I had. No, I'm not arrogant enough to think that. But after coming all this way, I'm gonna see where it ends. With more water, of course. And with everything a thousand years terminated, it's probably a tank full of dead fish. Huh. Actually, the water's surprisingly clean. What? Whoa! Hello? I know your face. Are you here to play? Others came here once. They built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current, or fight against it, as they did. Oh, you want me to follow you? Wow, so you weren't a delusion. You were actually talking with me. You said you could help me? Just so you know, regarding that thing you said, I'm the type to swim against the tide. I've been fighting Mega Cancer. Hey, are those eggs? Oh, I know what this needs. My young need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for the space, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. So, when you've been saying us, you meant you and those eggs? I mean, I'll do it, but are you sure about this? The outside planet is full of Kara and Reaper Leviathans. With the passage you've opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Hatching enzymes? Wait, what?! I thought you had the secret cure to my cancer! That's what the others, the aliens, were trying to discover! Well, oddly enough, I've actually got most of those things. Eye stock, fungal sample, ghost weed, and bulb bush. The only thing missing is SEA CROWN! Holy cow! I've just been grabbing seeds from different biomes and keeping them as mementos! You're telling me the hatching enzymes are just growing in my garden? Alright, well, I hope I'll be back, Ms. Not a Sea Dragon. Reaper sounds. That's not good. Hey! There's the gun! Let's take the Seamoth home. So, recap. I reached the Vaccine Development Containment Facility. Turns out it contained a nice version of the Sea Dragon whom the aliens wanted the Kara cure from. 
Christ, if only they were capable of hearing her. Instead, they threw her in a cage and stranded her there for a millennium. She's probably lived long past her time, and all she's got to rely on is me, a guy about to die long before his time. <gasps> Friggin' Bone Shark! I didn't mean by you! Come to think of it, if I do die, my little cuttlefish will be stuck in his aquarium until the lava lizard eats him to survive. I should get him out. Eh, better have a drink first. Uh oh. What happened? Emergency power only. Ah, damn it! This has been the longest night! I can't believe how slow and energy draining the water filtration system is! Oh well. Guess I'll gather the stuff from my garden, grab my fungal sample, and let the cuttlefish out. I'll just have to make that enzyme in the life pod. Oh, that was weird. If I really do get this cancer somehow cured, even now, I'll be glad I had these gasopod eggs. Ah! Sorry! Sorry! It was dark! It's weird that they bleed yellow. You'd think I'd be used to that by now. Oh, a message. Boy, this one's old. I'm sorry that you didn't make it, you. <sighs> Morning at last. I'm getting tired. <clears throat> but I have to stay awake. I'm afraid that if I fall asleep now, what would that be like? To fall asleep and never wake up. Probably peaceful for most, but not for me. I'd haunt this place as a restless spirit if I died just moments before achieving my goal. And what goal is that? There is nothing after you. The Aurora crew is all dead. You heard the last of their transmissions. You couldn't save the Sunbeam crew. And you threw away the five lives of the Degasi crew to spare your own. I am five in the hole. I can't deny that. How flippant. As if saving any number of lives could counterbalance those already lost. That's true, too. Sleep. All life is vanity. All life ends. No. Even when life ends, I believe there's a god that remembers me. If years of lying around on the island have taught me anything, it's that living isn't the point. It's what you do with your life. And that creature I'm going to, she's been in that cage for a thousand years, cooped up but lingering on, because she held out for the day that her children might be free. For such a terrible hand she was dealt, I'll say, that is a life well lived. It is a shameful waste. But not one in vain. I bargained five lives away for my own. Today, I give what little I have left for the sake of serving five. Look at that. But no promise cure. How sad for you. Don't spoil this moment, Cancer. What are you doing? Getting a read on this guy. Get too close and I'll infect him. See Emperor Juvenile. Oh, I see why you didn't want me getting close to it. You okay, Ms. Emperor Lady? You don't look so good. My young are swimming for the shallows. 
I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell. I see what you did there. You're an empath. You already know my mind. From one dying person to another, I'm happy for you. She'll be free of her cage soon. As for you, Kara. You think you can get rid of me? I am already everywhere. Maybe not in this lifetime. But if this is what I suspect it is, I bet I'll at least see the day when this planet is clean. <sighs> that worked fast, and it absorbed straight through my gloves. But let's just have a look at these hands. No glow. The enzyme 42 worked! <laughs> I'm cured! I think. Cautiously optimistic. Thanks, little guys! Thank you, God! Oh man, I gotta test this. Just to be extra sure. Hey, Warper! Your mom gay! <laughs> I'm clean! And he's super buttered! Man, I feel invigorated! I'm gonna get some fresh air, just to breathe it in. Hey! I'll bet I could shut the gun down now! <sighs> so, in case anyone sees this recording, I'll elaborate real quick on what I've discovered. Turns out the whole planet should have been dead centuries ago, but that sea emperor lady had a special enzyme immunity that kept the Kara at bay. It couldn't fix it, but it could be spread through the planet via pipe network and peeperfish. She was basically single-handedly keeping the planet alive. Well, she's about to die, but her children possess a pure strain of the enzyme that can beat the Kara. I'm living proof of that. At this rate, given enough time, the planet will be healed. I'm thankful I got to play a part in that. God has a knack for taking bad situations and working them to the good. I just... <laughs> I hope I don't mess it up at the last minute. Shutting down this gun will prevent any more crashed ships, but it will also open the risk of someone coming down here and catching the Kara before it's wiped out. I understand that, but for me, this isn't even something I have to think about. If it means no more sunbeams, I'll stand in for the gun myself. Eh, after that noble speech, I still don't want to get jabbed. Ouch! See? Clean! Now fuck off and stay off! Ow, my hand. Well, I can't undo what I just did. This planet is my home now, at least until the day that the Kara is wiped out. If the Reapers don't catch and eat those little emperors before they're full grown, I didn't think about that. I'm sure I can entrust them to God's hands, but you know what? Now that I'm here to stay, I've got a lot of time on my hands. Also a stasis rifle and two gasopod eggs. I think hunting season's about to begin. But first... Hey, Ms. Emperor. I know you can't reply, but I can feel you listening. I, uh... I wanted to correct something I said earlier. I'm not dying anymore, thanks to you, and a selfish part of me wishes that you weren't either. I've been alone here for so long, and I feel like you would have made a wonderful companion. But you've already lived longer in this prison than you ever should have had to. I just wanted to thank you, and let you know that I'll look after your offspring. Goodbye. <laughs> 